Right, here we are in the middle lane where my apartment is located. Um, normally I have a mounting for this bike, but uh, I just had the bike completely refurbished and painted, and so I haven't got the mounting on yet. But anyway, here we are. We're up a little lane, so it's really quiet. Go through traffic. Here it is, my vertical apartment. Here's my motorbike. Let me just stop here, leave the underbike here. So, main house, this is my apartment. Going would probably be a bit untidy because, oh, well, it's not too bad. I was up, I don't know, 2 o'clock or something this morning. Don't sleep very much. So, let's get rid of this look. It's uh, a nice kitchen. I had a plasma, plasma screen television, but I told Rose that she could use it in one of her rooms because I don't watch television at all. So, Got everything here and full bathroom with the electric shower and so I live here basically <laughs> because I put my headphones on I can wander around the apartment cook, make coffee uh, whatever I like and sleep here quite comfortable I don't use air conditioning I have air conditioning in my bedroom that I have never slept in, in all the time I've been here. Let me get the key. So, the fan on, you've got a nice flow of air. Just close the gate. It's quite safe here anyway, we don't even lock our doors. So I lock the one upstairs there, in case someone fancies a plasma screen television. dump my bag up here in case Rose wants to get out. Rose is my landlady and friend. Good morning Vietnam. You're on film now. I'm doing a film of my apartment now. Have we got water yet? Ah. We have a problem with water in this barn guys. Apparently something's broken and they're taking a huge amount of time to fix it. But we're used to such sort of thing. Well, I certainly am coming from UK. So we have emergency barrels of water everywhere. Right, this is my bedroom, which I never use. I hang some of my clothes up here. It has an overhead fan, it has air conditioner, which it needs because there's only one window this but I come up here sometimes write letters and again full bathroom with electric shower so I'll leave that open for a few minutes then the place to resistance of course is the roof especially for me as a keen photographer And I run power up here so I can actually sit up here when it's not baking hot and play my music and write because I'm writing this children's book very slowly. That's towards the sea and that is towards the mountains. It's just beautiful up here. I have a table, chairs. I'm going to put more plants up here gradually and uh, so I've got power <coughs> so I can play my music or oh, if we have a little soiree 
uh, or if just, if um, Rose wants to come up with her German boyfriend fiance and have karaoke although it is mine as the tenant but we have a very friendly cooperative relationship with each other so I'm in paradise basically I love it here and we have all the plants and I look after this side and the side by my wall um, and these plants here but what I want to do is get bougainvillea and run it all the way around to form a bit of a hedge because this is a American Filipino family um, he runs some sort of business here and there are comings and goings all the time uh, Careers delivery I said to Rose I think he's a drug dealer but I don't think he is well maybe he's not my business ok so that's it the barangay hall is just over there and you can actually it's growing so fast the you, the sea is actually through there and you can normally see it but everything grows here at an enormous rate I think when I came here three months ago I could actually through this gap see the sea so there we are folks that's the day in the life of a mad what have we got English, French, Ukrainian OCD nutcase retiree 75 so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it comes out this time not like yesterday I'll say goodbye I'll leave you looking at the mountains while I try to switch off <laughs>